Hello guys, Canada has just announced a new PR pathway for all foreign skilled workers seeking an opportunity to relocate to Canada. The beauty of this new PR pathway is that all countries are eligible. Also, this new PR pathway does not require that you have IELTS. It does not require that you have LMIA, which is Labor Market Impact Assessment, so which means your employer does not need to uh, submit for LMIA. No age restriction whatsoever is required. Also, there is no proof of funds. I mean, that is great, right? There is no proof of funds required for you to apply for this new PR pathway. Another beauty of this PR pathway is the fact that it is processed very fast. Once you submit your application online, within two weeks, you can expect to receive notifications regarding the status of your applications. Another thing is the fact that you can move to Canada with your family. Now, this PR pathway is unique in its own regard because it has three essential benefits for all applicants. One of the benefits is that your work permit allows you and your family to move to Canada and work without any restrictions, which means that your wife also have an open work permit to be able to work in Canada without any restrictions and including your dependents. So, which means if you go to Canada with a dependent that is of work age, they have an opportunity to be able to work without any restrictions because of the open work permit that it gives your dependent, okay? Another beauty or another benefit of this PR pathway is a fast track processing of two weeks. So which means within two weeks, when you submit your application online, you can expect to receive notification regarding the status of your application. And the third benefit is that your employer does not need to apply for LMIA, so which is labor market impact assessment, is not required from any employer. Now, the Canadian government has demonstrated partnership or has partnered with about eight companies in Canada with full support of the Canadian government. They have partner with this eight government and asking them to recruit international applicants or foreign skilled workers to come inside Canada to work and to reside in Canada. So which means these eight employers that the government of Canada has partnered with are the full support of the Canadian government to ensure that they have everything that they need at their disposal to recruit foreign skilled workers to come inside Canada to work and to live in Canada with their family. So which means this is a primary project for all the eight employers that are in partnership with the Canadian government. So another thing is this, the government of Canada is prioritizing this new stream because it contributes massively to the growth of Canada or to the growth of the economy of Canada. So today I'll be showing to you the requirement, the essential requirement, the eligibility criteria, all the documents that are required and what you need to do or what you need to know before you can apply for this new PR pathway that has just been announced. And if this is the first time of coming across our channel, this is Jackpot with your days. On this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunity that we hate your Jackpot plan. If you are just coming across our channel, please like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. So let me quickly show you some of the essential informations that you need to know before you can apply to this new PR pathway. Now, the new PR pathway that I've been talking about is called Innovation Stream Employer Specific Work Permit. Innovation Stream Employer Specific Work Permit. Now, it's stated here, if you receive a job offer from one of the employer participating in the global IPAC growth project, you are eligible to apply for an employer-specific work permit under the Innovation Stream 
employer-specific work permit. So let's quickly check some of the essential informations that are needed or that you need to know before you can apply for this. Now, when innovative Canadian firms act as anchors in the community or in their community, they foster entrepreneurship, build network, create jobs, and are catalysts to economic development. That is why the government of Canada has launched the Global IPA Growth Project, which is a new scale-up service that will help companies rooted in the Canadian environment to go further and faster in their organization. Now, this project brings together the combined strength of its government partners to help tailor support to each participating company's specific needs, offering solutions that are as unique as the company themselves. So which means these eight companies that are in partnership with the Canadian government to ensure and foster the, the, the success of this new stream have the full support of the Canadian government and they are specific and they are specifically given the full support of the government of Canada to recruit international foreign skilled workers to come into Canada with their family to live and work and contribute massively to the growth of the Canadian economy, okay? Now, uh, these are the game changers. So, which means these are the eight employers that, the, that have the full support of the Canadian government, of course. Uh, the first one is Ada, Alaya Care, Cell, Cell Cata, Clarios, Clio, DPG, Lightspeed, and uh, Vive or uh, VLVE. So, of course, um, if you want, of course, uh, if you want to check each of these employers, what you need to do is to go. I mean, these um, links are clickable, so which means you can always go to the um, to directly to the website of each of these employers to gather more essential information. So, what does this uh, project, uh, I mean, what, what does this project entirely involve? What this means is that if any of this employer, if any of this employer gives you an employment opportunities, you have the opportunity to be able to apply for the Innovation Stream Employer Specific Permit, which is under the Global IPA Growth Project. So this Three or these eight employers have the full support of the Canadian government. So if you manage to secure a or if you manage to secure an employment opportunity from any of these employer, you are good to go to apply for these uh, uh, new streams of PR to Canada. Now let's check other information. For instance, so if you let's say you want to you know go to directly to the website of one of these. Um, employer that I mean that have partnered with the government on this new PR pathway. Let's say, for instance, ADA. Once you click on ADA, it will bring you here, and then you'll be able to see the company profile and other essential information. For instance, this is what the company of ADA are involved in. Uh, imagine a future where the cost of assigning every one of your individual customers a dedicated support person is essentially zero where a trusted member of your team is available every moment, in every channel, in every language to resolve any question the customer has. That is the future. ADA is powering. We envision a world where every customer interaction is resolved by AI and are on a mission to make customer service extraordinary. So the beauty of this is that when you go to any of these employers' website, of course, you can read about what they do, among other things, to be able to tailor it to your own professions, the most important part is that you go straight away to their career session. Of course, this is the official website of the ADA, and particularly, I am interested in their opening position. So you go straight away to all of these employers' careers page so that you'll be able to see the current vacancies that they have available, and then you can tailor your CV to any of the open position, and then you can apply. Once you are able to secure any job directly from these employers, then you are eligible to apply for the new streams, which is a PR pathway to Canada, okay? Now, um, so these are these uh, open positions that are available directly with ADA, um, then so you can, you know, go through them one after the other and tailor your CV directly to the open 
positions. Now, let's assume that uh, you've gone through all of the uh, eight employers and you manage to secure employment with one of the employers or with one of the eight employers that are here. What do you need to do next? Now, who can apply, okay? To be eligible to apply for a work permit under the in innovation stream, you must have a job offer from one of the employers participating in the global hyper growth project, which is one of the eight employers that I ju I've just shown to you earlier, and then have a job offer in a high skilled occupation. Now, not only securing a job from one of these eight employers, the job offer must be under must be included in the national occupation classifications. And of course, you can check this on your own spare time to see if your jobs falls under the national occupational classification. Have the required education and experience listed in the employment requirements sections of the national uh, occupational classifications. And another beauty of this project is the fact that you can bring your family, your spouse or common law partner and dependent children are eligible for an open work permit as family members of a high skilled worker under this new project, okay? Now, that is how you can apply. Let's also check some other essential, important information. If you received a job offer in the high skilled occupation from one of the employers participating in this project, you are eligible to apply for an employer-specific work permit under the innovation stream. An employer-specific work permit lets you work in Canada according to the conditions on your work permit. Of course, you can you know, check all of this information at your spare time. Now, before you apply, before you submit your work permit application online, your employer must submit an offer of your employment directly to, the, to their portal, pay a total of 230 Canadian dollar employer compliance fee, give you an offer of employment number, and, and another beauty of this application, like I said earlier, is that it, it, it has a fast processing of your application. So you may be eligible for faster processing if your occupation is classified under the training, education, experience, and responsibility category of the national occupational classification. And within two weeks, if you check this information further, within two weeks, that means you can expect to receive notification regarding your application. How to apply? Of course, uh, step one, get your document checklist. Once you come into this place, if you are living in Canada and if you are living outside of Canada, there are different checklists that you need to take note of. And of course, you can go in details with all of the important documents and checklists that you need to know, depending on the location where you are, whether you are in Canada already or whether you are outside of Canada. Step two, get your document ready. Okay, if you are applying from inside Canada, you will need to upload a blank document in the invitation letter. Check if you need a medical exam. So if you if you are in Canada or if you are outside of Canada, you need to also check if you need a medical examination. So it depends on what you know um, uh, what your status is or what your current country of residence is. That's what will determine whether you need a medical examination. Step four: apply for a work permit. And as I said, it can be done online. Everything. Regarding this stream can be submitted online, which is what helps the fast the fast processing of the applications. That within two weeks you can expect to receive notifications on the status of your application. So everything can be submitted online. So once you have all the required checklists, you have all the required documents, just come straight to the online application portal, create a login details for yourself, register, and every other thing, and submit your application. And within two weeks you can expect to receive notification directly to your email regarding the status of your applications. So this is the new stream that the Canadian government has recently released and they are partnered with eight employers in Canada with the sole aim of recruiting highly skilled individuals into Canada. And these eight employers have the full backings and support of the Canadian government. And that is why you will see that uh, there is no proof of funds required. There is no IELTS required, no age restrictions, no LMIA required. And it has a fast processing of your application. And if you go with your partner, your dependent ones have an open work means, which means it allows them to be able to work without any restrictions or any uh, issues whatsoever in Canada. So this
So this is the opportunity that we wanted to bring our way once again. And if this is the first time of seeing our channel, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. See, we come your way next time. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.